up, beautiful Haiku family? Welcome back to another video. So, you guys might wonder, hmm, a new video on Friday? Yes. So, because we hit a thousand subscribers, we wanted to celebrate this together with you guys. To show our appreciation for all of your support and love. So, one of the best ways is to do two videos per week. So, we're gonna do one reaction video for the people who love reactions, and the second video is gonna be for the people that like watching vlogs. To keep all of our subscribers happy and even happier and busy because, over the weekend yes because when you guys are happy we're, we're happy. happy so we're planning to do a reaction video today and the video a lot of people were suggesting us to visit northeast india and to see how beautiful it actually is and we met so many so many lovely people from northeast india when we upload our nagaland reaction video and it's so heartwarming and we really want to meet more of you guys so we decided to do another reaction video on northeast india so we're gonna be doing the places you need to visit in northeast india but guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already we have 83 percent of the people that haven't subscribed to our channel so make sure you guys please subscribe it definitely helps us and turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video we're gonna upload two videos for now so you don't want to miss any one of them if you guys haven't followed our instagram we, we're gonna leave a link down below and we put a lot of content out there as well on mm -hmm. our social media so guys the title of the video is called you need to visit these places in northeast india mm -hmm. awesome places in northeast tourism we're gonna leave a link to this original video down in our description so let's go i can't wait it's hummingbird welcome to northeast india the land mm -hmm. of beautiful hills and mountains with beautiful people for many days now we have been watching the world from inside our house Allow me to take you to a door to see the beautiful okay. Northeast India. It will be a pleasure. Arunachal Pradesh. Anach Arunachal? Arunachal? Pradesh. Pradesh. Wow. Look it's at that. It's a beautiful place. My goodness. <laughs> looks amazing. Yes. Look at how clear the water is. My eyes are like wide open. This reminds me of Calgary. The to first sunrise. Oh, because of the valleys? The first sunrise point of India. Right? Oh wow. That makes it even more special. Tawang. Tawang Monastery. Tawang Monastery. That looks like, um, that looks like the, one of the most signature tourism attraction in Tibet. Hmm. Yeah. They actually look at the Antipa Guts on the, feels like it's on like upper hill. And it's like stacked up. It's and Buddhism. Inside they have the similar that the similar deco as well. Buddha. Uh, yeah, Buddhism. Oh wow. Imagine standing on top of there and look down. Oh wow. Giant Buddha. So I have visited a place in South India oh, okay. that has a giant it's near Mangalore side, Mangalore, Southeast India, uh, Southeast India. That has. Um, it, s south Southwest India, sorry. Um, it has like a giant Shiv statue, like giant this. Giant Shiv statue. Wow. You know who Shiva, right? Shiva Sh is the god of destruction in India. Oh, okay. He's one of the most strongest, powerful gods, basically. Oh. They say everything else came from him, like even the other gods. Okay. But I don't know. I could be wrong with my history. So if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> Welcome to Tawang. Tawang. Well, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's really close to the cloud. See? See how close it is to the cloud? But it's, the pressure is really high. So you'll feel different when when you are there. Madhuri Lake. Madhuri Lake. Mm. So peaceful. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, this, this is, is the, actually one of the places I want to visit. One of the places that you guys say have to visit. The scenic game. Tea. tea. Yeah, Assam is actually known for the tea. Oh, for the tea. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so pretty. This is definitely organic. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
This reminds me of China, the tea garden. Mm -hmm. There's so many greens. Look at the scenery. It's beautiful. It is. Living in the city, that is like something. Kaziranga National Park. Kaziranga National Park. I think you can ride elephants there and all too. Oh, nice. I oh, think so. Look at that. Oh, there's a lot of wild animals. That's nice. They That's the thing I like about national the parks. Like, this is one thing I like about national parks. That animals are free, right? They're, I know. They're in the border. They're but in their natural habitats. Yeah. And they can interact with each other. With, like, other animals. And they have that. Well, not interact, but, you know. No, no. Like, they have, they can, like, like, the birds can play with hippos or rhinos. Like, eat together. Yeah. Both. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> well, I bet the, 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 the natural environment must be so so good there. Like, they preserve it so well mm -hmm. that all of the animals can enjoy oh, their so lives cute. there. Okay, no. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Looks so innocent. Kaziranga Tea Golf Resort. You know, golf in India is so expensive in general. Golf is expensive everywhere. Manipur. Manipur. Yeah. Manipur is another Manipur. beautiful place. Oh, Northeast India in North. My goodness, look at that. It feels like it feels Urtak. like you're on the like cloud a lake made of clouds. The Lutak largest lake. The largest freshwater, freshwater lake, in India. lake in India. Oh. Mm. I wonder what is that circle thing? Lotus? Not sure. Do you guys know leave down in the comments below? Wow. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. Mm, me either. It looks like some sort of plants, but it's really pretty. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Lake house is the but only it's, floating. It's actually like oh. some scenery. The lake, the lake house. house, the only floating national park in the world called the Kebulangjau Kebulangjau National Park. Ke oh wow. Kebulangjau. So so it's flowing on the lake. It's a park that's flowing on the lake. I wonder what is this. Cable I'm mean. <laughs> I wonder too. If you guys know, leave down in the comments below. We have a lot of questions for you guys. Yep. <laughs> we want to learn. Wow, it's so special. Oh, World War II cemetery. World War II cemetery. Horrible history. You know when, uh, I believe when British was at war too. Mm -hmm. the India was currently under British rule, right? So mm -hmm. I believe uh, British actually used a lot of Indian troops for the war. Hmm. That's why. That's so, hmm. I think they used millions of okay. millions of Indian troops, Indian soldiers actually had to fight the war for the British. Even though oh. we were never part of it, right? Okay. Sad. War Sad is a horrible history. thing. I know. Wish it could never happen. Respect for these guys. Truly, truly. Special for the flowers. Yeah. It's lilies. I know, but it's <laughs> different. It's really special lilies. Normally, lily, it's like white, white, and it's like straight up. Look at that! Wow! Megalia. Megalia. Oh my God! It's so beautiful. Look at the pools. Seven the sister seven falls. Seven sister falls. Oh my Chera goodness! Cherapunji. Cherapunji. Cherubongji, the Seven Sisters Falls. Oh my god, look at that from all the way to the top to it's so tall. This is what I want to do. <gasps> oh, double decker root bridge. Oh, ooh, that seems natural. That's wow. Oh my That's god, imagine beautiful. taking imagine taking wedding pictures here. That's like the best. Like, can you imagine? Look at that color. Mm. You can literally see the sun. I, know, I, know, mean, I know. I mean, the sky reflecting. The, the sky, the clouds, right? The blue, the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the sky. That's how pure the lake is. You know, North India. When we, yeah. when me and my dad and my mom went to Ladakh, mm -hmm. Ladakh, the water. We went to Pangong Lake. That's basically, I think. Uh, so that's seventy percent China and thirty percent India, mm -hmm. and uh, the water is exactly like this. Like it's, Beautiful. it's so pure and it reflects everything, right? Yeah. I know. Ma 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 Ma
that's a tricky pronunciation. Malino. Malino. Mal. I hope I'm pronouncing Malino. it right, guys. Asia's cleanest. Asia's cleanest village. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> People live there must be so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Look how clear the water wow. is. You can see the bottom <laughs> of the lake. The the dogs. You can oh, literally yeah. see the fishes I think. I know. We're so lucky that those places still exist, you know. Mizoram. Despite the pollutions nowadays. Mizoram. Imagine going trekking here. I know. Rick, Trackers Rick. Choice. choice. I think you can actually trek here. Oh wow. Yeah, you can. You can, can <laughs> trek all the way to the top of that. Well, I might just see the sunset and the sunrise from there. So the Lake of Serenity. Wangchia. Oh, the Wang Asian Chia. graves. Must be south and southern years of history. Might even date back to the Indus Valley, you never know. Maybe. Hum. New Fong. Huming Fong? Tourist resort? Fong. I think the H is silent. So, Mu Fong. So, Mu Fong. Sounds a bit like Chinese. Mu Fong. A Cantonese. Tourist resort. Ooh, I have, I have an actual tourist resort. It's so nice. And it's on the top of the, the mountains. Oh. <gasps> Look at Nagaland. So peaceful. Zuko Valley. Zuko Valley. Zuko Valley. Zuko Valley. Also, totally different types of scenery, huh? From the greens and this is more like a bit desert like it's yeah. totally different no the landscapes oh more green now is the village now it's a village Konoma village asia's Konoma. first green village oh. such a beautiful culture But the fact that they've made these cemeteries look so beautiful. It's a uh, it's out a of respect. utmost respect, yeah. It's a respect. To let them rest in peace, yeah. So oh, they deserve all of it. Yep. Asia's largest church. Mm. Wow. Zuni Bota. Boto. Oh my god, look at the colors, so Baptist pretty. Church. Blue Zuni and white, Boto. so pure. Zuni Boto, Sumi Baptist Church. So Zuni Boto. Wow, that's massive. I know, it's Asia's largest. It is. Sikkim. Sikkim. Sumo, Changu, Changu Lake. Wait, look at the. F I. N this is something I need to do. You never Cable tried that cars. before. No. Really? Nope. Poor I've never baby. tried that. <laughs> this poor baby never tried this. Oh. <laughs> I I think where they have this in like north. No, you tried it in ski re in ski resort. Ski here. resorts is different. <laughs> Jeez, I'm oh, you want to try those like really tall ones? Like, yes. From really high end. Yes. Okay, okay. And those ski resorts, this is not how you have this. This is like just like the small ones. Yeah. These are like the massive ones. Oh, you like the massive Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this one more looks so like pretty. Ladakh too. Yeah. It's, it Blue looks statue. really similar to Tibet. Oh, yeah. Somewhat similar to what I was saying. The Shiva statue that I've seen. The statue, okay. This is Shiva, by the way. Okay. God of Destruction. That's a snake. Yeah, that's his. That's another god, I think. Oh, okay. This is his third eye. So, the legend goes this way: that the the time he opens his third eye. Uh huh. He sees the evil. No, he can destroy everything. Oh, well. He's the god that every creature fears. Mm, so he's like on the top. Yeah, kind of. Hmm. And his wife, Parvati, she she takes a very aggressive um, 
the thing where she becomes Kali. What's Kali? Kali is another. Is, she's the goddess of destruction. Oh, okay. So if you actually watch the history and all, mm-hmm. and uh, y- you know Ganpati, the god with the elephant head. Mm, yeah, yeah, I know. His son. Oh, that's his son. Yes. Oh, okay. I know you guys have a festival for Ganpati. The, yeah. Ganesha Tuti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I've seen some documentary. Yeah. Hmm. That's massive. That's really massive. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Oh, you valley of flowers. Oh, am I gonna wanna go there? Look at that. It's a valley of flowers. It's like a fairyland. River and flowers. End of civilian road, Indochina border. Indochina border. End of civilian road. You know what's civilian road, right? No. Okay. Tripura. Look Tripura. at that. Oh, it's a palace. It's a palace. Oh wow! Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's special. I think that is Shiva too. That's just a, it's kind of like a statue. Thing. Oh, that's uh, the abandoned sculpture. I could be wrong too. So if I'm wrong, just correct me, guys. Sculpture. You know, in China, we have like those sculptures as well for different. Imagine these guys actually handcrafted all of those. Yeah, it's handcrafted with the with like kind of like those they sculpt the stone hand by hand. That just goes to show you, like now today's day, despite having so much technology, mm-hmm. people take so long to build something, and yeah, people with minimum technology actually did all of this. I know that takes like point. that takes like hundreds, hundreds of years to do that. Wow. It's all pure manual. Manual labor. Yeah. Narkil Kunj. Mm. Wow. Ooh, Need my help. That's in the middle of the lake again, seems like. My help means palace oh. again. Oh my god, look at that. It's a palace on the lake. Oh, I ha- I w- oh my god, I'm dying to see this place. Just a tip of a nice break. I bet. That's so pretty, my goodness. I want to visit Sikkim, every single one of them, guys. Asam, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur, Manipur Nagaland, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh. Sure, if I be enjoy this place, I will at least have to have like a month. Six months. <laughs> Six months for all of it, one month for one place. Cause, cause one month, one month. One month for one place, so that I can like thoroughly enjoy it. And go to like every village and like, every valley. And that's how you experience those culture stuff. Maybe, well, you never maybe know. Two maybe, weeks. maybe two weeks. Maybe, maybe, maybe I get to live in one of our lovely subscribers. <laughs> That village and everybody welcome me and uh, what do you think? What do I think? Mm-hmm. So, I visited North India once, mm-hmm. and this is proper North India, Jammu Kashmir, Leh Ladakh, yeah, Shimla side in mm-hmm. all mountains. But, yeah. and I know for a fact that it's beautiful when you go to to the north side of India, mm-hmm. and northeast looks quite similar to what I've experienced. But I'm pretty sure it's quite different at the same time, and that's kind of my idea of having a retirement place is basically living on, on the top mountain, of the mountain. mountain. Yep, away from everything, away from everybody, <laughs> like a soul cleansing place, right? We definitely want to make a trip to India. Definitely, I'm not a sure. A trip or many trips. Yeah, but I'm not sure whether we'll be able to do it, do all of this in that much time that we're going. But we will definitely try our best. But if we get a chance, yes, um, uh, we will more than, more than, more than happy to go to visit those places. I'm yes. pretty sure we go to any of them would be so amazed. And thank you again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.